Hey, it's Cece. I have flour all over my black hoodie because, of course, I decided to do this in a black hoodie. Well, a couple days ago, let's just pop right into this. My sister sent me a picture of like these ornaments you can make out of flour, salt, and water. And I was like, well, I'm going to do that because I have flour, salt, and water. So, you need, I found one because most of them was like to make a big batch. So, I kept going to recipe to recipe to recipe. Mostly because I only have a little bit of flour and I wasn't going to buy more. And the other main reason was because I only wanted to make one. I didn't need all the extra dough. Cause I want to make Jayla's handprint her first Christmas her ornament ever since this is her first Christmas. So it called for one cup all-purpose flour, which I already got in the bowl. Then it calls for one and a half cup salt. So I got some salt. It didn't say which kind of salt, just says salt. So I already got that and I'm about to just pour it in here. I'm going to get a bigger bowl. I should do that now. Got the bigger bowl. I'm gonna mix these into this bigger bowl. And then, all, all, only other thing it adds this for is one half cup of water. Let's put some, I'm gonna just put it in there too. And this is supposed to be like, not like a pancake mix batter, but like kind of like Play-Doh. So I'm gonna go see how long I'm gonna preheat the oven and I'll be right back. This is why you listen to directions. You're supposed to pour in the water slowly, but I guess if I just need more water, I will. You're supposed to preheat the oven on 250 and let it cook for two hours on 250. So, so you just mix it together to get like a Play-Doh from Sissy I'm supposed to, you're supposed to add the water in slowly. I probably should have read all the ingredients before. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep mixing this. I can see the bowl. And after it like gets all together and clumps up, you're supposed to kneel it, knee it, kneel it, whatever it is. It's turning into something. Could I put cinnamon in this so the ornament smells good? I'm so doing that. Hold on. I remembered we did something like this in in school before. So I might just add a little bit of ground cinnamon in it because then it will make it smell really good. I mean, this is edible if you wanted it to be. Okay, so now after this, you're supposed to nail it. I'm just keeping the bowl so I don't want to get stuck to the cutting board or anything. See how much this one recipe makes? Like, in my baby's hand, small as crap. So, okay, this is definitely like a Play-Doh consistency. It's like a little more like it's food, like Play-Doh food. Like, of course, it's not going to feel exactly like Play-Doh. So, this is like definitely. Okay, I'm going to add some. I'm going to add a lot because I want it to smell good. I add like this much. Now, I'm going to just knead it all together. I hope it don't mess up the texture. <laughs> if so, I have more sugar I can I mean flour I can use. Just making sure it's all mixed up because I don't want to spoil cinnamon in her hand print. Now I'm gonna paint it, so I guess it don't matter. So I changed my mind. Jayla's really good at like grabbing stuff. Like she picks stuff up, puts it in her mouth, plays. Like she can fully control her hands. And I just know for a fact, once I tried it, like just about a month and almost two ish months ago, right before she turned one month or a little bit after she turned one month, we tried to put her hand in ink and mark her one picture frame that we have where you put a footprint and a handprint. And she wouldn't even like keep her hand open for that. And now that she has full control of them, I think she would just try to play with it instead of like laying her hand flat and letting me like print it. So we're gonna do her foot. Her foot's ticklish, but I think she will be able to stay still darn. So I'm gonna just take this out. I'm gonna knead it some more. This is kind of like cookie consistency, not really play though. Okay. And 
I do have paint to paint it. Mm, it does smell good though. No, I'm just gonna keep it right like this. Okay. So I'm gonna put the whole thing on the pan and I'm just like, I'm not gonna flatten it out and I'm gonna just take this and cut me it some out. Maybe it would be better if I turn these lights on. Sorry guys. So now with this, this is what I got. I'm gonna flatten it out some to make it big enough for her little foot. That's big enough, but like I need it longer so I can put a hole and stuff. Okay, I put a shirt on and put a, a different jacket over it so like it wasn't baggy. So now I'm going to start flattening this out. This is how, it, how I got it to look. Oh, I can't find a straw, so I'm gonna just use this little nail. Make sure it's far enough down. I'm gonna just move it back and forth till there's actual like a hole. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so I got the hole in it now. So now I'm about to go get her 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 feet the good thing about this too is if you messed up it's not hard yet the good thing about it is you mess up you can just roll it back up and do it again so we got jayla hey jayla say hey jayla say hey jayla say hey this is jayla dior she was born august the 14th 2019 she is three months old. She wears size twos diapers and she wears three to six month old clothes. She has a head full of curly, curly hair, but it's all messy right now. Bedhead. Bedhead, baby. Show them inside your head. She has a bright blue eyes. And she has three little birthmarks right here, right here, and on her little nose. She loves to stand up like this. She stands up really good. Hold on, let me just move this for a second. She loves to stand up. She does it all by herself, see? Yeah, she likes to bounce. She loves her bouncer. She's learning how to sit up. She can actually sit up, but she like leans forward. So we actually just really washed her high chair that my cousin gave me so we can um let her sit up in that. Whoa, Joe, you can't keep the hand. I think I'm going to just, just do this foot. Can you put that foot over here? And I'm going to just have her, like, stand up in it. Put your foot down. Put your toes down. Oh, good job, baby. Oh, baby. It actually looks really cute, but I think I'm, I might rather use her hand. Oh, uh, well, that's cute. She definitely puts her foot like really hard into it and not her toes. Yeah, it's like touching the pan, so I'm gonna redo it and like let her redo it. Okay, come on, let's try this again. Put your other foot down there. She's like, I already know that something's about to happen with my foot. That was much better. That one's much better. I have enough for her hands too, so I think I'm about to I make roll this one up. Wanna do your hand too? Yeah, she's not in her hair yet. The only bad thing is I need to move this. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room. Okay, I can put it right here, I guess. I just want it rounder than this.
And I'm gonna try my best to get her hand print. Oh, it came out so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I'm gonna do it again because she uh didn't put her thumb out. I'm gonna make sure she don't put this in her mouth because it's probably not gonna taste. It is edible. I mean, it's only, there's nothing in here that you can't consume. <gasps> perfect. It actually came out perfect. Her pinky needs a redo. I'm gonna just redo her pinky. So it's all done. So I'm gonna put this I'm gonna make another one and carve into it. And I'm gonna have to make a hole on the side of this one. I'm gonna just make this one a flat one. And then when it's at, done, I'm gonna just, you know, paint on it while I, need, while I wanna write. Hey guys, okay, I look a little bit better. I done put a little bit of makeup on and some eyelashes. But they should be done in like 11 minutes. But I'm trying to cook and by the time I get those get done and I get done cooking, it'll be around the same time and I cannot like, try to do that and get those out and then cook and all the other stuff so let's go take them out and i'm gonna show y'all how they turned out so they can cool down all right y'all couldn't hear me over the air fryer but i was saying that they came out good and they was really rock hard and solid and i would really recommend it so I got really busy after that day and couldn't show y'all after I painted them. So I'm going to show y'all now. This is our Christmas tree. I already have them hanging up. This is her handprint one. It's really, really pretty. I dropped something. It's really pretty. And then the next one is me and Ontario's. It was the plain one that I didn't write on or I didn't put nothing on. I just drew what I wanted on it and it's turned out so good. And then this was her footprint. The whole idea for this video and it came out perfect. 